Hello, I'm Foon and I write the website hustlecastle.site. Today I'm going to show a little trick to watch all your daily event ads in one sitting. You see here I'm starting with two phones, the top one's newer, both are ready to watch an event ad. What I'm going to do is start the ad on the top phone and then while the ad is playing, open Hustle Castle on the bottom phone. I won't close the ad and I should get the cards uh, to show up on the bottom phone. Now this starts the timer on the bottom phone where the cards were collected, but not on the top phone where the ad was started. So then I can go back to the top phone and play a new ad and just keep repeating. Of course, if you already play the game on multiple devices, you would have noticed that the timer for the ads is device specific. That's part of how this trick works. Okay, the cards just came through on the bottom phone. So if I go back over to the, um, to the little event guy. Okay, you can see the timer has reset for two hours on the bottom phone. But more importantly, up here on the top phone, the timer never got reset, so we can start over again watching a new ad. So as I was saying, uh, this uses the same trick with um, the two hour timer being specific to each device. And you can set a timer for every two hours and watch your ads on each device, and that alone will probably get you through all of them in one day. But what I like about this, um, this newer way of doing it is that even if I'm spending all day in the game anyway, this is on my own schedule, so I'm not asking my dungeon partner to wait while I watch the ad real quick or waiting until I finish an arena and then just forgetting to watch the ad and then not noticing for a couple hours later. And this will be even better now that the event is over and I'm not spending all day in the game. I can get my dailies and my ads all done early in the day and then catch up on the sleep that I missed out on during the event. I heard about this trick. I wasn't the first one to discover this, but when the info made its way to me, it was simply that it was possible and not how to do it. And the first few times I tried, I got bad ads that crashed the game or otherwise broke the workflow, so I thought I was missing something. So when I finally figured it out, I thought the visual would be helpful, and also this is a very nice short video, which is more of what I'd like to create. So for the sake of making this video um, the around five minutes that I think such a topic deserves, I'm going to be cutting some of the ads and some of the loading screens the loading screens are really long on the older bottom phone. So just in case you're thinking I'm getting lucky with really short ads or that I have a really fast phone or maybe you notice the jumpy cuts, uh, that's what's happening. I'm cutting them out. And speaking of video quality, I'm sorry about the glare. The bright light was the only way I could get the camera to expose the screens in a way that was visible. And this is just a real quick setup for a mini video. I don't think I'll be doing more like this. Another little ad watching tip, if you keep getting ads that don't have a close button on Android, I think what's happening is that the ad is uh, programmatically opening the three button menu bar for the purpose of hiding the X button underneath that menu bar. Now phones normally have the buttons on the right side and we normally hold our phones with the buttons on top if we're playing like a horizontal game like Hustle Castle. So my tip is to do the opposite. Hold your phone with the buttons on the bottom and then the three button menu bar, uh, when the ad tries to programmatically open it, it'll be on the other side and won't cover up the X. Uh, this works well for me. All of the crypto ads I get always, um, always do this and this has fixed it. Okay, here's an ad that's not working. I would normally probably just close this and come back in two hours to finish, but I set a whole day's event videos in one sitting, so I'm going to follow through. What I'm going to do to um, keep the workflow from breaking is I'm going to force close the game with the ad and then reopen and start a fresh workflow. Okay, so I think we're almost done. I hope this is useful for some of you to be able to watch all your event ads in one sitting. I think. If you, for example, have a job where you can't just take out your phone every two hours, then this would be nice to know. You still have to watch the same amount of ads. Well, maybe not watch, but sit through. And of course, this will only work for event ads with the timers. And I don't think it'll work for the ones where the event ad is a quote unquote quest that you then have to collect. I really hate those because half the time the ad crashes the game. And by the time I'm back, I've forgotten that I need to hit the collect button. And I don't see that until my timer goes off two hours later. And when I go to watch the ad, I see instead I have to actually collect the gold one. But for the events where the ad is in the store, a better place for it in my opinion, it should work like a charm. Even in the days after the event has added, but it's those extra days to collect things. For me, that's perfect because I don't want to be in the game all day those days. I'm tired. <laughs> You'll see the timer now says 15 hours. That's just when the ads refresh day to day. So we've done it. We've watched a whole day's worth of event ads in one sitting. 
it's kind of sad when ad watching tips are game tips, but it is what it is. I thought this was useful and worth sharing, and I hope you did too. That's it. Please like and subscribe, I suppose. Uh, I'll be in the comments. I always enjoy hearing from you there. Bye-bye.